Windows, then you might be aware of the Ultra Intel Crisis PC. Or if not, you just want to see how Crisis will run. Well, according to Tiger Direct, the Ultra Intel Crisis PC, or whatever you want to call it exactly, is built to play Crisis Warhead. It's just the bare necessities to play the game. So I ordered this PC a, a couple months ago. <clears throat> and I purchased Crisis and I heard well nothing but bad things about Crisis to be honest uh, mostly about the frame rate how it's people again like 20 frames not even 30 and I also heard about the snow levels and how bad they run well I have to say that I have Crisis on the Ultra Intel PC, which is 512 megabytes of video and RAM, 9800 GTX, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and 250 gigabyte hard drive, I believe. I'm not too sure about that. And a 2.66 uh, gigahertz processor, dual core. So, it's a pretty good PC, and the processor is pretty good as well. Nothing's overclocked, everything's, you know, factory clock and all that. And I have the game running here, and the reason I don't have a recorder, like, fraps on, is because I want to show the maximum frame rate that I can get. And at the main menu, it's at, well, 999, but that doesn't really matter. So, let's open up one of the more demanding levels. By the way, I have the very high hack on which is where you copy and paste the high code and replace it with the high <coughs> and um, it basically gives you what, this, what you would see on Vista on XP which is amazing graphics I really have to say the graphics are just incredible so I'm going to load one of the snow levels and then We'll see how well it goes. Okay, this is the level Paradise Lost. I have the frame counter on the top right corner here. And I'm going to put my speakers on low so you can hear me talk and all that. So, I'm just going to click. And I have about 22 frames right now. Frames a second. And I'm just floating around apparently. I don't know if you can see the light rays or not, but that's something you can get on a very high hack. Right now, to 11 frames. Now it's going back up. About 16, 15 frames. Even though it's low frames, you wouldn't even tell if you didn't have it on. I mean, this is one of the snow levels. And this is one of the most demanding levels from what I understand. And it's playing really smooth. Okay. Right about 15 frames right now. 19 now. About 20 frames right about now. Check out night vision, which takes some more frames, and it's, it's pretty smooth as well. <clears throat> so this is the very high hack. Everything's completely maxed out. If you 
you want me to show you. Advance. Everything is on high, but this is also the very high hack. And with the very high hack, you can't select very high. <clears throat> you just replace the very high code and put it where the high is. It's it might sound complicated, but it's, trust me, it's a lot easier than it might sound. So I'm getting around 20 frames right now. I mean, it's going smooth. I mean, that's not a lot, no, but I mean, it's going really smooth. And you wouldn't know if it, if it was going 20 frames or not. The only reason I know is because I have the counter going on. And this is one of the aliens, obviously. Oh, I don't have any ammo. Well, there you go. So, I'm getting... Right now, is at 18 frames. And... No, my character's starting to freeze. But, yeah, you want to... It's still pretty smooth. And as for this being one of the most demanding levels to run this smooth, that's really good. This is also what the latest patch, latest driver for NVIDIA. And supposedly Warhead plays even smoother. And you get more frames than that. In the original, so I'm looking forward to that. I think it's safe to say that Crisis has definitely gotten a lot better since it came out. Yeah, let's use a handgun. That's always good. Oh. I don't know how I live that, but okay. Yeah, I'm out of ammo, if you haven't noticed. So let's do this. Okay, in conclusion, I would have to say that <clears throat> this is an excellent computer. Crisis being one of the most demanding games to date plays excellent on it. And you can't really go wrong with it. Also, the motherboard is upgradable to 4 gigabytes. So, and a quad core processor as well. <clears throat> and I hope this helped a lot of you guys out and filled you, filled you in and yeah that's all